Hey third grade, this is the first part of your 8.7 explorations lesson. So for explorations, we kind of do little chunks of skills and there's a couple of them. So the first block that we're going to be looking at is area. Um, and this is one that you are working on a journal page with. So I want you to turn to journal page 268 in your math journal, 268. Pause the video while you get to that page and then you can start it again. So on journal page 268, it says exploring geoboard areas. A geoboard, if you've ever used one in person, it's like a little pegboard that you um, use rubber bands on to make shapes. Um, so that's what this is, but it's the digital version. So what you're doing is you are um, making rectangles that have two different side lengths. Um, so it says the area. So on journal page 268, the first one says 12 square units. So then it says side one and side two. What you're using is kind of like your factor pairs. So what could you multiply together to get 12? So think about it. What two numbers could you multiply together to get 12? So there's a couple different answers. Um, the one I'm going to show you is going to be four times three. So you go over here to your draw tool and I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four spaces. And then I'm gonna go over one, two, three. Then I'm gonna go up four, over three. So now I have my first rectangle and the area should be 12. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So that would be the first example. So you could use that for number one. It says 12 square units. So side one would be four, side two would be three. Then the next one also says 12 square units because 12 has more than this one factor pair. You could do another one. So that's what you're doing for the first part. And then it says area with odd number of square units. You're still doing the same thing, but instead of having an even number of square units, you're creating one with an odd number. You can still do this. Think of the factor pairs. What two numbers can you multiply together to get an odd, an odd product? So if I clear this, um, think about what two numbers you can multiply together. Here's an example. You could do one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? because three times seven equals 21. So this would have 21 square units. So that would be an example for the bottom part. And then you can just go through it and you can look at the questions for one, two, and three. So this is your first, think of it like a station um, for your lesson 8.7 explorations.